A group of National Guard members is back home with their families just in time for Thanksgiving. That's after a mechanical problem delayed their return. It's new at 11. I witness news reporter Naka Nuosu is in North Kingstown with more on tonight's happy homecoming. Though this homecoming was a bit delayed, the families weren't focusing on that. They say they're just happy to finally be together. I don't see you. Danielle, Anna, and Leah Hart wait patiently for their dad to arrive to Quonset. But when he stepped off the plane, they couldn't be patient any longer. How does it feel to have your dad home? Happy. Happy. Did you miss him? Yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Rick Hart was just one of 125 Rhode Island National Guardsmen who came home from Afghanistan this week. They were deployed three months, long enough for Master Sergeant Kyle Gernon's son to learn to walk. It's my first, so this is his first homecoming with me. So, come on. Ah, yeah. This group of guardsmen was supposed to return Tuesday, but mechanical problems with their C-130 pushed the homecoming back to Wednesday. Did you just get everything ready? And, like, I made dinner, and it was on the table, ready to go, and then we got a phone call, so that was hard, but... We've done it a lot of times where they've been late, so you kind of get used to it. Still, they're home for Thanksgiving. Families plan to spend quality time together and have fun. Uh, Actually, we're going to go to Disney World. Yeah, or I think we're going to go to Disney. And while these families look forward to the holidays, their thoughts are also with the Rhode Island National Guard troops deployed just this past Saturday as they will be spending the holiday overseas. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Neka Nuosu, Eyewitness News.